Hello everyone and welcome back once again to the channel. I hope you are all having a fantastic day so far. About a month ago, Aerosoft came out with their brand new add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the DHC6 Twin Author. It definitely had a bit of a bad start with some pretty game-breaking bugs, and today I kind of want to take another look at the aircraft to see if those initial problems have been fixed by now. The aircraft has received a couple of patches since its release, so normally all of the small bugs and issues should have already been resolved, but I say should be because in the case of this add-on, it's not really what happened, but more on that later on. I wanted to make this video because it seems to me that uh, when most people do reviews about new products for Microsoft Flight Simulator, they always do it right away when the add-on is first released. And while it's a good way to get some first impressions on a product that you are considering buying, I feel like doing a review about the product a month or so later is also very useful, because in my opinion that's the best way to see if an add-on is really worth your money or not. Pretty much all aircraft for the sim are going to have bugs and issues when they are first released, at least in most cases. So it's not really reasonable to judge a new product when it hasn't gone through all of the post-release updates yet to fix those issues. A month later, however, as I said earlier, I would expect pretty much all or at least most major issues to be ironed out, and if that's not the case, then you really need to consider whether you want to spend money on the product or not. So that's pretty much what today's video is about. We are going to decide whether it's a good idea to spend your hard-earned cash on Twin Otter from Aerosoft. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you are always notified whenever I upload new content. Also, don't forget to like and comment as well, it would be greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So let's begin with the elephant in the room when it comes to the Twin Otter. The sound issues have almost become synonymous with the aircraft itself, as most, if not every major flight simulation YouTuber has mentioned the very bad sound design of this add-on on their channels. The team at Aerosoft have since confirmed that they would be redoing the sounds for the aircraft from scratch, but so far not a lot more has been heard about that. And one of the recent patches even made the sound issues worse, at least in my case. When it was first released, I actually thought it was quite doable. The transitions for the prop RPM were terrible, but at least I felt like the sound levels were okay. But after the first update, the cockpit sounds are fine, but when you engage the starter for the engines, the sound gets so incredibly loud that it makes you want to throw off your headset, so it's not in a good state at all right now. And also the very abrupt changes in the sound still persist even after the update, so that's the first very disappointing thing about this add-on in my opinion. I'm still hopeful for the next updates however, and I hope Aerosoft will get their things in order so everyone can enjoy this aircraft to the fullest. Sadly though, the sounds aren't the only problem I have with this aircraft anymore. Again, when it was first released, most things actually worked fine for the most part, but with each update that Aerosoft brings out, more things seem to be broken than before. Take for example the passenger signs, which worked before but now do this whenever I press the switches. I could also swear in one of the patch notes it said that after the update you should be able to program the two GPS's in the aircraft separately, but that just isn't the case for me. Whatever you put into one GPS is automatically put into the second one as well, which I feel like is a bit unrealistic. And seems like something that could easily be fixed, but I'm not a developer, so don't hold me to that. The only thing that has been fixed for me so far is the strobe light switch. 
which didn't work for me before with my honeycomb yoke and also the terrain inhibit switch that they added was a good addition because the warnings in this aircraft can definitely be a bit annoying and unnecessary sometimes. Of course, regardless of the problems the aircraft has at the moment, it is still worth mentioning that it's a pretty fun aircraft to fly, flight model wise. I really enjoy the way it handles both on the ground and in the air. It can sometimes be a handful to fly and especially land, but that just adds to the experience in my opinion. Right now it's quite difficult to focus on the positive aspects of the aircraft with all of its problems, so that has definitely had its impact on my enjoyment of this add-on. But hopefully things will get better soon. As for the question if this aircraft is worth your hard earned money, I would personally say no, at least not in its current state. Hopefully within the next few months Aerosoft will have greatly improved this add-on, but until then I would recommend you wait a little while longer before you pick this aircraft up. Unless of course you are a hardcore Twin Otter fan like me, in which case go for it by all means. The feeling of having a Twin Otter in my virtual hangar regardless of the quality is a great feeling to have. And if you want to do some nice bush flights, then this add-on is exactly what you need for the job. It is very capable of landing pretty much anywhere in the world, just like its real life counterpart. Just a little disclaimer before we end this video, my sort of review of this add-on is by no means meant to discourage people from buying Aerosoft products or something like that. I just felt like it was worth sharing my opinion on the aircraft's current state to give other people a view of what they can expect. But however the bugs that I've encountered so far aren't necessarily guaranteed to be in your version as well, so keep that in mind. That will be all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather short video. If you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want me to make a second review on the Twin Otter in a couple of months, be sure to leave it in the comment section or by liking this video. That way I can get some feedback from you guys whether you like this type of content or not. If you have some other ideas of what you want to see on the channel, you are more than welcome to put them in the comment section below. And finally, just a quick shout out once again to all of the people who have supported the channel so far. You guys are amazing. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy flying!